And last week, we've heard that the Irish government is wasting your money. They've spent a third of a million on a bike shed outside the Dáil. And now we hear that they spend over 1.4 million on a security hut outside the Department of Finance. The Irish government are spending your money, Irish taxpayers' money, like a drunken sailor at a party. And we've and the Irish Freedom Party, we've got the solutions to do something about it. So I would ask you to watch this video, consider it, and tell your family and friends about us. Go to Margaret, it's Lan Hispanic. I want to give you an idea of our fiscal policy. The Irish Freedom Party is a party of lower taxes for Irish workers. We wish to reward work and enterprise. We believe in fiscal patriotism. We are committed to lowering the tax burden of hard-working individuals and families. Businesses employing Irish workers and pensioners, those who have already helped build up Ireland. We want a clean and green Ireland, but oppose the punishment of car drivers, the transport sector and those who work in haulage. We want to cut government spending on wasteful white elephants, be that the overpriced children's hospital or, for example, the 6.2 billion euro we spend every year on NGO sector, ideological talking shops. Let's look at some examples, clear examples of government waste. So every year the government spends, I believe it's 8% of the national budget on so-called NGOs, non-governmental organisations. 6.2 billion euro a year. Uh, the government uses your money to spend on Ukrainians every year. It's 2.5 billion in 2024. And for those who claim to be economic migrants, an I-pass and direct provision and even foreign aid the Irish government spends 1.2 billion euro of your money every year, and the HSE overspend last year was 1.5 billion euro. So, would you believe the government spends 10% of its annual budget? This is 10% of the government's annual budget, 11.4 billion euro of taxpayers' money, on matters of no direct benefit to Irish citizens. This amounts to 6,122 euro per household. It's a bit of a waste, then. The Irish Freedom Party will tackle government waste, mismanagement and overspending. We will also start to annually reduce our national public debt, which is 235 billion euro, which is 42,000 euro per man, woman and child in Ireland. And Ireland still has one of the highest gross public debt levels in the world. The public debt is a noose the government is placing on the necks of our children. And the public pension liability is 646 billion euro. Unbelievable. We will stop the government spending money like a drunken sailor. The Irish Freedom Party believes that the government is responsible to ensure the prudent spending of taxpayers' money. It is our policy to support the introduction of measures such as key performance indicators and significantly increase transparency within the public tender process to ensure account accountability and oversight. On the carbon tax. We pledge to cut the carbon tax, which drives up the cost of your milk, your meat, as well as your petrol and home heating oil. Carbon tax is unnecessary and unjust. The carbon tax punishes ordinary people for everyday activities such as driving your car or heating your home. It disproportionately hits people in rural areas and workers in the haulage industry. The Irish Freedom Party will lower personal tax. We will take Irish workers on the minimum wage out of the USC net as well as Irish citizens over 65 years of age, pensioners. This will be the start of a phased removal of the USC tax altogether. Worker earners pay the higher rate of tax of 40% at €42,000. This is too early and we are committed to increase the threshold to €50,000 which will allow Irish citizens to keep more of the hard-earned money. We will phase out tax individualisation Irish Freedom Party believes that families are at the core of Irish society. It is our policy to support the phased reversal of the year 2000 Fianna Fáil tax individualisation, which came from the EU, so that married couples can fully share tax credits and bans so as to not penalise a stay-at-home parent. We will move to increase married tax credit to stop discrimination against single-income families. Another aspect which impacts family life a lot is the expense of buying a larger car if you have more children. And we believe the VRT exemption on seven-seater vans for Irish families with three children and more. We want to expand this VRT7 tax relief scheme that is currently avail available to include families with an Irish citizen parent and three children under 18 years of age 
and resident within the state. This will be restricted to one exemption per family. The maximum available relief is €22,000 under this scheme. A reduction in VAT to help smaller businesses. The Irish Freedom Party understands that our domestic economy is the backbone of our economy and has been neglected over recent years. Hey, it's no good putting all the eggs in one basket and relying on multinationals who can fly away like this tomorrow. Look, we are very vulnerable to big changes like that. So that it is the policy of the Irish Freedom Party to support the reduction of the standard rate of VAT from 23 to 21% and, and increase the VAT thresholds for smaller businesses. This will significantly reduce the cost burden on larger Irish families. We're trying to help people. We will abolish inheritance tax on the family home, family farm and the family business. The state takes in very little in inheritance tax anyway. So we will abolish inheritance tax on the principal family home, family farm and family business in which one of the parents is an Irish citizen. People who have worked to accumulate these properties have already paid stacks of tax already. We also want to support Irish businesses and small, smaller SMEs and farms. We will cut employer PRSI to help employers employ more Irish people in full-time contracts. To do this, the Irish Freedom Party will half the rate of employer PRSI in businesses and in companies in which an owner is an Irish citizen and the business has less than 20 full-time employees who are Irish citizens. You'll note that fiscal patriotism is taking place, that we want to help Irish citizens to lower their, their tax burden and to help them provide a future for themselves and their family and reward work. We also want to introduce a HSE immigration surcharge. We can be giving free stuff to everybody who comes to Ireland. You usually need to pay the healthcare surcharge if you're applying for a work visa or an immigration application for more than six months. If you're applying for outside, if you're applying outside Ireland and for any length of time if you're applying inside Ireland. You don't need to uh, pay for any HSE surcharge if you're applying for a visitor or a tourism visa. We are happy to support tourism. Uh, actually, we need more of it. We need to stop welfare tourism and support real tour tourism. But anyway, this is for people who are applying for worker permits. Cost for one year, you'll have to pay 750 euro per year for students and their dependents. You'll have to pay 750 euro per year for a visa, work visa and immigration applicants who are under the age of 18 at the time of application. And it will cost 1,000 euro per year for all other visa and immigration applicants. It's basically those who are on working visas. They have to pay for their own health care, not the Irish taxpayers. So paying the health care surcharge, you'll pay the immigration health care surcharge when you apply for your work or immigration visa. That's an idea from Britain. All the other ideas, they apply directly in Ireland and it's the, we want to send out a clear message that the Irish Freedom Party, as it said at the start, is the party of lower taxes, which encourages work and enterprise. So we want to help those workers, larger families, those with small businesses. We want to stop the penalization of those in rural Ireland we want to uh, help uh, pensioners, but most of all, we need to restrict. We have to be prudent in our spending of taxpayers' money. We've got to stop the waste and huge overspending that uh, is being carried out. And on this 13 billion euro that they're getting from the Apple judgment the European Commission took against Ireland, I believe with such huge public debt. Now, would you believe in 2006, in 2006, the Irish government basically had a debt of 44 billion. I think it was 26% or so of the GDP. It's currently, now, public debt is 235 billion euro. So there's been a huge splurge, especially because of the, the euro and immigration induced boom and bust. Remember that, 2009, 2013, huge boom and bust because we had cheap euro credit and cheap labor from Eastern Europe. It was a building boom and then we went bust. And lots of Irish people had to emigrate. So we took up massive debt then, and then also during the lockdown, the government once again spent money like a drunken sailor, caused inflation and massive public debt. So there's been a huge lack of prudence 
and we want to cut the spending of public money and be more prudent in how that money is spent. So I hope that gives you an idea of the direction of travel that the Irish Freedom Party wants to go. As I said, we want a, a, a gradual phase out of the USC. We want to reduce VAT. We want to help big families get a car, a seven-seater VR, uh, seven-seater uh, van. We want to reduce personal taxation for workers. And it's for, as I said, fiscal patriotism. We want to help Irish citizens because we're not here. The Irish taxpayer is not here to give free stuff to, to people from around the world. It's not our job. So it's to encourage Irish workers, it's to encourage Irish businesses to employ more Irish workers as well. So I hope that you can understand the vision that we have as a party and come the general election that you will support us, tell your friends, your family, your neighbours, tell them first to get registered and second to, to make sure you vote on the day of the election. And I would ask you, if you agree with what's in this video, please share this video among your friends. Please like uh, the video and maybe if you would leave a comment and you would subscribe to our channel, I would really appreciate that. So my name is Herman Kelly, I'm President of the Irish Freedom Party and I hope you find this video very useful. Go to Magatha, Flannis Bank.